talking about purpose. And there's one really critical component to all of this work, and we've touched base on it in, in phase one, and we'll get more involved in, into it in the awakening. But purpose requires you to shift your frequency. And that's really important, that that's an internal decision that you make. So as I've been saying, this type of work is a want. It's you want this, not anybody else, you. And it requires you to shift your frequency. To shift that frequency isn't always easy. So that's why a lot of people shy away from the internal work because it can actually be quite painful. And I always tell people, you need to respect where other people are at. Um, even when they don't respect you back, really important that you have a base frequency of respect and i've always said that so that's what purpose really requires for you to do is shift your frequency and purpose is very subjective in terms of what you find what you're going to do um, i know my purpose is, is very subjective um, so learn that it takes uh, shifting your frequency and having that underlying frequency of respect is key for you to do this work and for you to be very, very successful and actually uh, completing all of this work. Even though you'll never ever be finished, I tend to always say as soon as I think I'm finished, that's just the beginning. So learn that purpose requires you to shift your frequency. If you're not prepared to do that, then this work isn't ready or well, you're not ready for this work as i would say um, i might uh, stay in phase one for a bit more you might need six months you might need 12 months who knows in that phase one still growing your awareness it's not a rush this type of work and wherever you are at is perfectly wherever you are at and i always say that always respect where you're at even in the toughest times of your life learning that purpose has an actual requirement of shifting your frequency is really really important so learn that you'll take on this work when you're ready.